These pictures showed the dramatic rescue operation continuing in Russia's Far East after a fishing trawler with 132 people on board, including four Ukrainians, sank late on Wednesday. Helicopters winched crew members to safety after the boat ran into trouble in the Sea of Ohorsk. At least 56 people died and some 13 are still unaccounted for. Those are the latest figures from Russia's emergencies ministry. Ukraine's foreign ministry earlier confirmed that one Ukrainian citizen was on board with information about the other three yet to be released. Their fate is unknown. In general, the weather allows us to continue our work. As for today, more than 10,000 square kilometers have been searched and we continue our work. The shipwreck occurred whilst the boat was hauling a 100-ton fishing dragnet, a Russian Marine Rescue Coordination Center official told the Reuters news agency. They say the boat sank within 15 minutes, possibly leaving the captain no time to send a distress signal. Over 60 people were plucked from the freezing cold waters, many of whom were suffering from hypothermia. An investigation is underway. In the course of this review, we will assess whether the ship was at sea legally. We will look into the availability and quantity of the life-saving equipment. We will look whether the SOS signal was sent in a timely fashion. We will check the crew's qualifications and we will assess the actions by controlling authorities that gave the permission for the ship to sail into the sea. One theory is that large amounts of drifting ice may have damaged the body of the ship, causing it to sink. Russia has a bad track record of air, road and water disasters, with negligence and corruption often the cause of accidents.